A little detail I learned about hummingbirds the last couple of years is that they like flowing water. In fact, apparently they don't like traditional bird baths. I saw this demonstrated immediately upon installing waterfall or flowing water style fountains. I also learned that it's important to provide perches for hummingbirds because they expend so much energy with their metabolism, just breathing, much less flying. I usually like to use sticks, uh, something small enough for their small feet to wrap around. Looking closely, it appears that the hummingbirds are actually maybe washing their beaks, their bills, uh, which makes sense after sticking them in with all that sticky nectar. This one's having a full-blown waterfall bath, but it's important to remember that that top basin is extremely shallow. At my other style of fountain, the hummingbirds don't like it that much, but one day I did see one sit down and just enjoy the gurgling water right at the top. But of course it was important that it was extremely shallow for the tiny hummingbird. Other birds you can see going ahead and taking a drink out of the still water, but you'll also see those birds sometimes take a drink from the waterfall as well. But I never saw the hummingbirds drink from the still water. Kind of interesting. With this particular fountain, even though it has flowing water, I've never seen the hummingbirds use it so far. And maybe that's because the water flow is too harsh for them. Maybe it's too low to the ground for their comfort. I don't know. But I decided to experiment. So I went to the traditional bird bath. I figured it needed a topper of fresh water anyway. And I decided to let it overflow for a little while just to see what happened and the response was immediate. The hummingbirds came and started hovering around the waterfall side. I mean, this was within minutes of letting the water overflow. And notice that they are only doing it on the side where the water is going over the edge. I followed that up by laying some sticks of various sizes and widths across the top. Not just for the hummingbirds, but for other species of birds, so they could be more comfortable while trying to use the bird bath. Ended up with quite the little gathering of the same species here. And whatever the actual importance is of the sticks, they sure seem to enjoy them. Notice the hummingbird making use of the stick perches, but also notice that even though the stick perches go all the way around, the hummingbird is only interested in the side where the water is flowing over the lip. Obviously, some problems here are the water waste. I mean, it's getting absorbed into the soil, but it would be better to be recycling that water with a pump. So a self-contained fountain unit would be ideal in this sort of situation. The other obvious problem is that there's no perch for the hummingbirds when they're just trying to get water that's falling over the lip of the bath. These are relatively inexpensive and kind of nice. I haven't done any maintenance on mine, and I think they were like $50, $60 to get something like this. Um, if you want to invest in better, you could get a bigger one, a nicer one, maybe one that uh, the hummingbirds really, really flock to. Get some really entertaining views while helping out the hummingbirds and some other species, even if they're occasionally rude.